Mayfair safety deposit job back in 74. Very powerful. No recent record, just legitimate imports. Freight, trucking. No known involvement in the drugs trade. Killed last Wednesday with his bodyguard. Messy killing. One shot to the head, five to the body, close range. No arrests, no leads, no sense. Obviously, there's a pattern. They're not random targets, they're specific. In fact, if they hadn't been the victims, they'd have been our first suspects. Any prints found at the scene are new to us. Maybe it's the Jamaicans moving in. Yeah, that's what we thought till they come to us for protection. <laughs> the men are from all over, really, mainly CID. Detectives already linked with the relevant investigations. The whole operation's being coordinated from here. This is going to belong to a foreign bank eventually. We've leased it for six months. They think we're with the inland revenue. It's all a secret, then? A secret? No, it's not a secret. Just don't tell them what we're doing. Mr. Harris, Detective Foster. Special branch, one of mine, actually. Foster takes over when I'm not around. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Harris. How was the flight? What's wrong? I just didn't expect everyone to be so polite. Well, I hope that doesn't have to change. We're just down here. Good morning, gentlemen. Just a few moments of your time, if I could have your attention. Oh, good morning, Mr. Good morning. Gray. How are you? Oh, that's up there. This won't take too long. This is John Harris, who just flew in yesterday from Los Angeles to help us with our investigation. Mr. Harris is a group leader with the Drug Enforcement Administration. He has operational experience in New York and more recently in Los Angeles. Over here, his principal capacity is that of an advisor. We're very lucky to have him with us. He's a highly decorated policeman. Would you like to say a few words to the troops? I'm not going to say much. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't think I have to. As Mr. Donnelly said, I am here as an advisor. I'm not here to get in your way. Uh, the DEA is extremely experienced in establishing a task force environment, getting everyone together like this, exchanging leads, ideas. It gives everyone the opportunity to focus clearly on the real problems. It also gives us a wider jurisdiction when it comes to the arrests. Now, who are we going to arrest, exactly? Whoever's responsible for what's going on here. And who's that? All we've got at the moment is a bunch of dead villains. Nothing else. Now, you're going to have plenty of time to talk about it, Carnegie. You and Carver are going to be showing Mr. Harris around. Are you okay? There's none here. None of these faces fit. They give an honest impression. You'll get it. I have to talk to the press. What are you going to tell them? I'll tell them Carnegie and Carver were two of the best men I had. Is that what you really think? They were good policemen. What did they say? Nothing. It's not them, is it? I don't know. I want to talk to the boy. Carnegie's arrest from the nightclub. Why? He probably knows more than all of us put together. As long as that's okay with you. Check him out. He knows who they are. He's going to point them out to me. Really? I think I'll recognize them. I've got the boy's confidence. Why don't you let me run with it? What do you say? Okay. But we have to do it properly. I still need to do my job. Fine, so do it. Still an advisor, Mr. Harris? This is just going to go on and on until we're satisfied. Are you listening? Two of my policemen are dead, and we have people who saw you at the scene. Bollocks. This ain't even a police station. 
Look, either charge me or let me go. How old are you? Look it up. 18, right? Prison. Your life's over. Is that what you want? How long have you been doing this job, man? Who's your American friend? I don't know any fucking Americans. You're a terrible liar, Dwayne. You know plenty of Americans. What about Michael Jackson? Mickey Mouse? Thomas Newfeld? Joseph Fernandez? Carl Fraser? Is that the name he's using now? He's changed names more times than you've changed your underwear. Dwayne. Fuck off! You curse me and my friend one more time, I'm gonna tear your fucking jaw off. Got it? He's using you. It's what he does. But you're so full of shit, you can't even see it, can you? Can you? They're just kids. That's where it starts. We can't detain them any longer unless we can make a positive identification. What's all this about in America? Drop them back home in squad cars. I make sure everyone sees them. I want the entire neighborhood to know that we busted them. Is that an order? It's police work. Maybe we should just give you a gun and let you clear up this whole town for us. Maybe. Who is it, Harris? Who are you after? I knew we couldn't have been paying for this. We can't even afford to convict half the criminals we do catch. American money buys you more. In case you didn't realize it, our aims are the same. Keeping things from me doesn't help. Yeah. Brazil, Cuba, Mexico, Miami. We almost got him once, smuggling into L.A. from Colombia. Eight months surveillance. 40 DEA videos, tapes, everything. He didn't show. He was tipped off. Turned out he bought two of our guys. They disappeared and turned up six weeks later in Mexico. Their bodies had been dumped in the field. One shot to the head, five to the body, just like that. I see. You knew about this? It was the kids that gave him away. He always recruits kids of that age. Virgin hitmen, no records, clean, enthusiastic. Makes them feel like they're a part of something. Treats them like their family. These kids killed Roy England, Curtis Payne, Frank Pierce? I think so. Well, it shouldn't be that difficult to find. Not if you're shipping stuff in on this scale. You should familiarize yourself with that. Familiarize myself? I should have known about this from the very beginning. Oh, come on, Edward. We couldn't say anything until we were absolutely certain. We? A week ago, I had 100 men on this case. Now I've got 98. It's a bit late to start getting familiar. I'm not undermining your position, Edward. But John needs more time. He knows Fraser. That's why he's here. I thought he was here as an advisor. He is. And I feel confident we shall be seeing results sooner rather than later. I've got a hold of a car for you. It's there if you want it. I'm trying to get this guy to say more than two words to me all afternoon. Want a drink? No, thanks. Oh, come on, have a drink. I'll have a Coke. Two Cokes. 
Put a double vodka in one of them. I looked at the report. It doesn't say how long you've been after him. I mean, you personally. I put him away once, a while back. I mean, that's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? What's the difference how long? That's what we do. We chase bad guys. And he's a fucking bad guy. How old are you? What? Come on. How old are you? 31. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> How'd you get here? I served in the army for eight years, and I met Donnelly when I was working with intelligence. Uh, he got you in the police force? Not every policeman has to walk the beat, Mr. Harris. Sure. Sure, you can be ambitious. Scotland Yard, Sherlock. <laughs> He'd had a lot to drink. Could have fallen in. Informed his wife. She's under sedation. Woke up this morning and he was missing. Open it up. Their O'Neill boy didn't take the drugs. They didn't do the deal. We could only charge him with possession. There's nothing we could do, sir. This changes nothing. We're ready to move. We will have gone straight to the club. We're gonna get Chris out of Listen, if we try and pull the kid out, we could lose the whole thing. Byrne could have phoned ahead anyway. Tell them he fucked up. He'll try and deal with it himself. You're guessing, Harris. We can't tell. I'm sorry for the kid, but we do it as planned. I agree. This operation is far too important to jeopardize now for any reason. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. The O'Neill boy dropped the drugs as he gave him the money. Nothing you could do, sir. Nothing you could hold him. Harris! Who are you calling? Christian? I can't let you do that. I'm not calling him. Oh, for Christ's sake, Harris. What's he doing here? Okay. Go, come. 